the dead before they could be reborn. He hoped to create an invincible army that would allow him to easily conquer Tsushima. With every enemy he killed, Tsukabata gained an obedient soldier. The ghost felt the heat from the rising flames. The dead littered the ground. Bloodied and terrified, a Mongol called out for help. Shukwatar betrayed us. He believes we are too weak. He'll kill us all and control our spirits. Through the fog came the spirits of the recently slain. They stepped over their own corpses to attack the ghosts. Mongol's hand clasped a scroll outlining the path of Sukubatar's army. The ghosts set out in pursuit. Somehow, Sukubatar had found their way to create Onryo, vengeful spirits. They followed his every order. The ghosts followed the path until they came across a small, quiet village. But the flashes of lightning revealed they were not alone. found an unfinished Ofura, an amulet meant to keep the spirits away.
Puddles of blood darkened the pure white snow leading out of the village. Bloodstains led toward the window, as if someone had crawled there to escape. Clasped tightly in the man's hand was a blood-stained scroll, covered in strange symbols. The ghosts struggled to make sense of the cryptic writing, certain they were linked in some way to the spirits. In the distance, the ghosts heard the sounds of a Mongol patrol approaching. Ghosts watched as spirits of slain samurai emerged from the fog to fight the Mongols. The bodies of the dead Mongols bore the insignia of Sukhbatar. The ghosts were on the right track. Sukhbatar sacrificed allies and friends alike to increase the number of spirits under his control. For he desired an army compelled to obey his every whim. One that knew no fear. The ghosts finally caught up to Sukhbatar's forces. They moved into the burning town, eager to free the spirits from his grasp. The ghosts sensed overwhelming suffering from a nearby building cloaked in fog.
Countless innocents brutally impaled. Pain frozen in their faces. around the large building slowly dissipated. on the hill are screams pierced the air. Chanting, wafted from the nearby docks, obscured deep in the fog. Remaining villagers, mangled and broken, were left to rot in a net like a fish. The fog around the docks floated slowly down the river.
the ghosts were angered by the slaughter of the village. The spirits vanquished, the fog faded away. Suddenly, Suk Bater's voice boomed throughout the village. Come, ghosts. Once you are dead, I will display your bodies as a warning to others that even the ghosts are helpless before Suk Bater. Heavy footfalls approached. The ghosts readied themselves for battle. Sukhbatar's <laughs> dreadful warriors had covered his escape. The ghosts moved on from the decimated village. Knowing more would suffer the same fate if Sukhbatar wasn't found and defeated. Listen while I recount an adventure of the ghosts. <laughs> 